What caused these holes? This is the Broadleaf Dock, Rumex obtusifolius. It's an extremely common wild plant and well known as a treatment for nettle stings, even though it doesn't work. The idea is that nettles are acidic and dock is alkaline, so they're supposed to neutralise each other, but even cursory testing will reveal that dock is actually acidic too, so it's rubbish. Now, when you see dock, it's usually full of holes, so what's responsible? There's too many suspects to name. Dock is a veritable insect paradise, hosting many species which feed only on docks and sorrels. If you inspect the underside of the leaves, for example, you may find the red rumex weevil with its long characteristic snout. If you see longitudinally rolled up leaves, look inside and you'll find the dock aphid, usually in massive colonies. They're almost always being protected by one of two ant species, either Lassius niger or Myrmica rubra, Myrmica rubra in the colony that I found. That's because the aphids are being farmed by the ants, who milk the sticky honeydew produced by the aphids from plant sap. Basically, aphids are to ants as cows are to humans. Actually, none of these creatures are responsible for the dock's devastation. But there's a big clue to what is. Clusters of orange eggs. There's lots of them. The eggs hatch into our real culprit, the larvae of the green dock beetle, Gastrophysa virigula. These wormy things are greedy little buggers and can devour whole leaves. This makes them an ideal form of biological pest control, since dock leaf is considered a weed by farmers. You might also spot the adult beetle, which has a beautiful iridescence that makes it hard to miss. But there's more to them than looks. They're used by scientists as model organisms in studies of insect population dynamics, behaviour and biochemistry. So plentiful are these beetles that I could film almost the entire life cycle in one day in June. Here we see a beetle with a gravid abdomen, laying its eggs, which start out as cream colours before they darken to yellow and finally turn orange before hatching. Then you've got the larvae, these turn into the pupa underground, which I therefore couldn't film. Next, you've got the adults, and if you look carefully, you may then find... Oh, uh, sorry guys, I, I should go. But so alluring, can't stop watching. Oh.